Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Naela. So today we are doing a hair video, a wig install video. And this video is sponsored by Super Virgin Hair. And they sent me this lovely 20 inch wig. Super cute. It was not this color. I was going to insert a clip of me dyeing it, but y'all, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what I'd be doing. So I just look on youtube and just look up videos just look up how to add highlights basically all you do is just put bleach so you put bleach and developer mix it together put it in a bowl and put it on the hair so that's how i got this basically and it's super cute like i'm so happy it's like giving me summer vibes summer curly vibes i wanted something different because i'm like i have all these black curly wigs and i just wanted something different but if you guys are new, thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And also follow me on Instagram so you guys can see pics with this wig. And yeah, so if you guys are interested, please keep on watching. This is a 20 inch 4x4 transparent lace closure. And I did bleach it. You can kind of see the bleach on the side a little bit. But I bleached the knots. I could have did a little better though. But I wasn't trying to over bleach it. So it's either I over bleach it or it's under bleach. I can't get it right right now. <laughs> I'm still have to keep practicing. But yeah, I also dyed it like I said. And it looks super pretty. It's different like color highlights in the hair. So you guys will see when I install it. But I plucked it a little bit. I might have over plucked a little bit too. But you're just going to install this wig. And right now, ooh. Right now, I'm just pushing back the hair with my hot comb just to make all the hair just go back. And I will be doing little baby hairs. Y'all know I'm not into baby hairs, but it's kind of cute with curly wigs. I like it. And now that I know how to do them a little bit, kind of, sort of. Yeah. So, okay, I just pushed that back and I'm going to put some foundation in here. I usually use my Laura Mercier foundation. I don't know why. I like this foundation. I shouldn't use it for my wigs. But this is like the closest thing I have right now for to my color. And it's still a little light. Okay, so I added some foundation to my lace. I don't know if you guys can tell. I tried. <laughs> but I'm probably going to add some of this Morphe. I use this to bronze. But I don't know if you guys can tell. The, the top of my forehead is darker than the rest of my skin tone so actually let me get another brush so i use a darker shade i need to use a darker shade for my lace because if i use a lighter shade it's not going to blend with mine they say use the, your scalp color but no use whatever color is the top of your um forehead because it just won't look right so that's what i've learned is to use like a darker shade and it'll blend a little better so i'm gonna use some of my morphe bronzing cream in the color megastar i think also comes with i forgot to tell y'all it comes with clips and adjustable adjustable band and these kind of band these kind of clips too so so what i was saying earlier i accidentally pushed i was plucking too much and pushed this side back so your girl it's just looking a little cray right now. Yeah, that's how it's looking right now. I think that contour powder actually really helped blend. So I'm going to use my wax stick and push the middle part down because I found out where I wanted my part to be. And this is a 4x4 four four, like I said, so it is pretty i kind of like that size but like i said i think i told y'all the last time i'd rather have a um five by five it's just a little bit bigger and also i don't know if i said but this wig comes with a wig cap a this looks like a bonnet or a headscarf and a wig band so you can help lay your lace so i'm gonna actually use this today I didn't bring my other one in here, so I'm gonna use this today to help lay my lace. I'm actually excited to use the glue. <laughs> I'm actually excited. 
I barely have any left though, so we'll see how I manage to get it out. I use a knife to, and this is the Ghost Barn Loom. Okay, so this is it. It's not dry. I mean, it's like kind of whitish looking, but. Okay, y'all, so I just added a little bit of my Morphe concealer I used a little earlier. And now I'm just spraying the lace so it could blend a little bit more. And then I'm going to tie it with my wrap. And like I said, this hair was 20 inches, but with me like dyeing it and I kind of kept the bottom a little, like the pieces, the dye, the bleach, sorry, on there too long, it kind of took out the curls a little bit. So it's a little looser type of curl now, which I don't mind. Honestly, I really like it. So, okay. So I'm going to just take the band off and this is how it's looking. Looks pretty good. Even though I didn't bleach it all the way like I should have. Now I know. Either over bleach so you won't see the knots. Or if you under bleach it you won't see the knots. So. And I'd rather have it over bleach. So. Okay, so I'm using my wig brush and some, I just use regular edge control I'll use on my hair to lay it all down. Uh, so I did the baby hairs. They look kind of weird because like I said, I plucked too much on this side. So this one's kind of higher up than this. So I might fix it a little bit later, but... Right now I'm just kind of putting some water on the hair because as you can see it's kind of two different curls. Like I said the bleaching kind of took out the curl in this side so I'm just putting mousse on the top of the hair so it could a little blend in with the hair a little bit at the bottom. So I'm going to do that to both sides. Okay so this is the hair. I'm going to put something on so you guys can see it a little bit better. And yeah. Okay, y'all. So, this is the next day. I don't know if you guys can tell. But, basically, yesterday, I wanted to see if the curls could be different. So, I put some curling cream in the hair. And I braided it into two braids. Put a scarf on. And it came out so cute. So, it's like a kind of braid out kind of thing. I'm not trying to touch it so it won't get any bigger. But, yeah. I really like the hair. Thank you to Super Virgin Hair for sending me this bomb hair. Like I said, it was a 20 inch 4x4 closure and it looked so good. I had to put a lot of work in it because I told y'all I kind of messed up with it. But it came out pretty good. So I'm so happy it's giving Beyonce in the summertime period. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next time if I do do like a coloring, I'm going to record it because I felt like maybe I should record this. So you guys can just see how I got the color. But yes, yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.